Hi, I'm Adam Parker, I'm Associate Collections Curator here at York Museums Trust. I'm going to introduce you to this tour of history and archaeology around York Museums Garden. The gardens were founded by Yorkshire Philosophical Society. They were created in 1822. In 1828, by royal assent, they took control of this part of York and started laying out the botanical gardens. The YPS still exists. They're a learned society that's invested in the, uh, the promotion of natural science and archaeology in York and Yorkshire. And this building behind me is their lodge in 1874 in the parts of the medieval city walls. So point in our talk, we're going to head off into the gardens. Back towards the entrance and down the hill slightly and you can find York's medieval city walls, those famous medieval city walls. We're actually stood on the outside of them now in the original area of the Abbey of St. Mary. The Abbey has its own precinct walls which form the boundaries of the modern York Museum Gardens. We follow the path from the entrance to this building, the observatory. The observatory was built in 1832 and is Yorkshire's oldest working observatory. Whilst many parts of the gardens and the city have all changed dramatically in the intervening years, people have used this space to gaze up at the night sky for almost two centuries. Into the heart of the gardens and you find the oldest standing building that's still used is this, the Hospidium. The Hospidium was a place where lay visitors, non-religious people, came to an abbey site to visit the clergy. It's where they stayed and the oldest parts of this building date to the 14th century. When the Yorkshire Philosophical Society took over the site, parts of this building were used as extra display and storage space for the Yorkshire Museum and mainly housed Roman and medieval antiquities. Nothing to see here now from the space behind the hospitium housed York's first open air swimming baths. It was open on 8th of August 1837. It was a huge pool measuring 30 metres by 20 metres, and even employed a keeper of the baths. It was built in the parts of the original Abbey precinct walls, so the western edge of the walls, which you can see just behind them. At the western edge of the garden is this gateway. So parts of the walls surrounding me date to the 13th century, a lot of it dates to the 15th century. But this entrance into and out of the abbey, and now into and out of the gardens, has been used for well over 500 years. We've seen the hospitium and the gateway, these are both some of the original medieval buildings on the abbey site, but it was originally filled with a whole different range of other stone structures. We've got a warming house, kitchens, a dormitory, uh, the chapter house, the vestibule. Um, parts of these are surviving underneath the Yorkshire Museum. We found them when it was built in the early part of the 19th century, but other parts of the ruins have dotted all throughout the gardens. You can see from the ruins behind me how close they are to the modern ground surface. Undoubtedly, the most important building in our tour is the Abbey Church of St. Mary's. The earliest parts of this building date to 1089 when the first stones were laid. It was built by the Benedictine Order in York. They were on the site from 1086 in St. Olaf's Church nearby. The Abbey Church has two main phases to it. The, er the earliest one in the 11th century was the Romanesque Church. This was demolished and then rebuilt in the late part of the 13th century, around the 1270s, to create the part of the structure that still survives today. This Abbey Church was monstrous, it was huge. It was rivaling, rivaling only to the minster in the height that the original tower stood. You can see some of the remains of the tower behind me that stood at least twice the original height as it does today. The Abbey is in ruins because in the, during the dissolution of the Greater Monasteries in November 1539, King Henry VIII closed the Abbey down. From the Abbey Church, past the Yorkshire Museum, you'll find the oldest standing building in the Museum Gardens. It's the Multangular Tower and it's internationally famous. The lower courses of it are Roman in date. They date to the late 2nd, early 3rd century AD, at a time when parts of the legionary fortress of Ibaraka have been rebuilt in stone. The Roman fortress walls were used throughout York's subsequent periods of its history. The medieval walls were built on top of it and they formed the foundation of the shape and size of the modern city. 